Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 Mewen Taxes Milan into Italy campaign. So, finish up that war with the Ottomans. Got some rebels I'm going to take care of. Then I'm going to fight Mogadishu when I get the CB. And right now I'm going to actually revoke privileges from the greater nobles. The let's see. I believe it's the officer's band privilege that I want to get rid of. Yes. So is this top one? We'll see how that goes. All right. This rebellion should rise up. Okay, I didn't lose any stability from that. That's great. Damascus has Sunni fanatics because they are... Shiite. Uh, there's actually no way for me to get over there. So they are on their own. Alright, here we go. Take them out. Alright, there's that CB against Mogadishu. So take them out. Uh, the culture in Kodor changed from Serbian to Dalmatian. Okay, so Dalmatian is a... It's an accepted culture. Okay. Hmm. Go back to Attica. Alright, at the same time this stuff's going on, I am integrating Sicily still. That'll be five years. Let's see, so I'm going to have to eventually conquer Hungary, at least I don't need to for the borders of the Italian Empire, but I'm going to conquer this area eventually because it was the, the Italian Empire planned for this area to be in their empire. So, I'm going to conquer Hungary and Turkey. Basically, everything from here
around here to maybe around here and then all of this obviously and all these islands so let's take care of those guys Hmm, I'm wondering if I should break off this alliance and then attack them in five years. The only reason I wouldn't do that is because I wanted to give these cores back to them from Turkey. You know what? I'll do it. Dissolve the alliance. That'll give a truce for five years, and then I'll be able to uh, attack them and take this. At least this area. Take all of your money in that territory. I'll just leave that for now. Put those in the trade company. Liguria. I believe I changed that from uh, naval supplies to steel. Since uh, I only have like three or four provinces with naval supplies, so I would never get those bonuses, so I'm gonna try to convert those to steel so I can hopefully get some benefit from something. Uh, what is my... You know what, I need the Diplo power. Missionaries. All right. So most of the land is converted. Just these two provinces, and then these provinces.
So there's 40% in Misrata. 20%, what is this? Age of Reformation. Pretty sure those uh, mechanics are not in the game. Sure. Build a cathedral. Just make sure all of these provinces have them. And they're not heathen temples. All right. So what's keeping me from non accepted culture, local autonomy? All right, those are the two big ones, yeah. Negative 14%. I have a couple separatists about to rise in this region, so I'm not going to pull my troops off yet. Create a fortress of Cairo in Cairo. So I'm going to get a level six fort. I don't even have a level 6 fort in my capital. I'll do it, sure. Unfortunately, they're uh, not very powerful. Move them right there for now. So I have an extra missionary, I'll use that. Mm. Uh, 
convert uh, Jews. Sure. Move them over there just because this is 29 and there's 30,000. I can do this again. Maybe not. Nope. So this peace deal, 84. All right, that's 11 years. Uh, pilgrims pass through Italy. Capture him, convert him. There are Azuran separatists. Hirab and Jeroban. Over here. They're not a part of the. Now they're decreasing. Alright, so that's just basically one rebellion left. Apiriote separatists. Which should be right here, I believe. If I remember my uh, geography correctly. My uh, Latin Kingdom's geography. Angelo Costrano. Yep, this one right here. I'm going to take that Miltech before I get behind because of the printing press, which started in my former. My former vassal's territory. Renovations and repair. Hmm. Five hundred ducats. Five hundred ducats to repair the Great Cathedral in Cairo. 
Let's see. I'd say no, but that missionary strength plus 0.5% is pretty big. Without that 0.5%. basically a third and this takes 62 months yeah repair and renovate it sure you can't build them again once you lose them so best just to uh, not mess around, not take chances. I'm going to get a general from the Greater Nobles. A 1-2-4. Not ideal. Um, hmm. Wondering if I should make these cores. They're fighting Al Jazeera, which actually broke their truce with the Turkish Empire. Or the Turkish Empire broke their truce with them, which is actually good for me. I'd rather they conquer at all. I mean, I'm not going to deny them. So that was no question. Should be a very quick and easy war. Gazi warriors. Those are the guys that rise up if you border Muslim provinces. They will just rise up anytime. Which is kind of annoying. But there's usually not that much of them, so. Some 15,000 men over here. Not to help Spain, but to conquer these provinces. Those four. So I, I think I'll conquer these two first. They're allied with Canem Borno. Who has um Canem Borno? Guess I don't know of their existence. So I don't know how many troops they have. Well, I'm gonna tag them anyway. We 
because I doubt they can hold up to me. Yeah, they have like 11,000 men. It's just nothing. Considering their tech is so low. It's just gonna take a long time to get over there. And they melted. That ship just, uh, sailed through land. It's pretty impressive. Two hundred papal influence. Let's see, I gain fifty two a year. Just absolutely swimming in it. It's going to take a while to get this. They rose up right next to me. I don't think I want to send these guys halfway around the world up here to deal with them. I'll pick these guys up. Bring them over here. September 19th. That is, uh... It's a long time.
Imagine getting there. It's this uh, September 18th, and then you remembered. Oh no, I left the stove on. Then you gotta go back. It's like three months. So the moral of the story is: don't leave your stove on if you're gonna cross through Africa. Split these guys in half, cover more ground. I actually have tech 22, which is six techs behind me, so not that impressive actually. I'm going to move these guys to a more central location. Twenty four hundred ducats from the burgers. Wow. Yeah, give me that money. That would be a ton more if I conquered uh, India, which I might do. Depending on how quickly I get this area conquered. Send that missionary. Hmm. Do I want to deport rebel supporters? You know what? Sure. I do. Albanian separatists coming. Naples is about to be integrated. I 
Should increase my population a bit. Hopefully, once I take their fort, they will be in a talking mood. I'm going to dump this fort. There it is. Looks beautiful. Except for all the uh, blue forts. There we go. Now all I need is just Arion. And then to fill out this area. Alright, well we're at 100% uh, here, so... I see no reason to keep this war on for longer, unless they have Cannon Borno has like a thousand ducats. They do not, so... Well, they do have 200 ducats. But this siege is taking a long time, and I don't want to keep my men down here. Protracted in a siege down here in the middle of Africa for 200 ducats, so... I'm gonna pull them out. Make peace. It's going to take them a long time to get back. Naples had a fleet, yep. A couple caramels. Straits. Uh, protect trade node Aegean. So that's what I'll have these guys do. Build cathedrals. Okay. So, I integrated Naples. Took these two provinces. Now, for the next part, I'm going to probably fight Hungary. Conquer Croatia and, you know, just this area. Alright, so for now, I'm going to finish this part here and pick it up in the next part. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you tune in to the next part. 
Goodbye.